welcome back. Today I'll be showing you a crossbow that I made during quarantine. It's completely out of wood except for the bow itself which I made from a binder that stopped working. Uh, yeah, it's, it's amazing how simple things can stop working. But, let's see the firing demo. Let me tell you this. I made this completely from scratch except for the binder. I had to buy that and use it for a couple years and then realize it wasn't working. It's still a crossbow. It still works. Let's see the firing demo. So as you can see from right here, this is how messed up my basement is. And that right over there is what we're going to be shooting. So this is the crossbow that I made. It's made from wood. It's simple. And uh, you see a bunch of holes here because I mess, messed up, messed this up a couple times. Skill. But uh, yeah, this is me. This is pretty much a crossbow itself. Let me close my laptop because I'm scared. But hey, this is this part is also wood, by the way. Uh, yeah, now this part is interesting because I didn't find anything that's actually strong enough. So I decided to use bamboo chopsticks and bamboo skewers, which make things so much easier. Now when I store this, I actually take the string off and then remove the bamboo stuff, uh, which keeps this thing at its best performance level. So, let's prime it. Pull back, oh shoot. Now this me mechanism isn't very stable, and I tried to make it sta more stable. This is the first arrow. Now I made these arrows myself as well. And these aren't very accurate. You can see I'm on a ping pong table, so it's gonna hurt if I miss. Okay, but apparently not, and I shot into the recycling bin. Now, of course, because this is homemade, it's not exactly accurate. My aim isn't the best either. And that just dry fire. Now this is not very stable. Trust me when I see it. It's not very stable, and I think this breaks really easily. That works. This first shot. Now, you can see right here, I put the arrowheads differently. Simply because, um, wow. Normal arrowheads you can just screw on, but this, nah. I, I'm not, I don't have the tools or the skill good in, that's advanced enough to make modern arrowheads, so I just took some metal wires and wrapped it around. It looks beautiful though. One of the reasons it can dry fire is because of how high the string is, as you can see from here. So, if the string is too high, like it is right now, the arrow won't be able, it won't catch the arrow. So I have to, like once in a while, put it down. So it makes this curve right here. And I missed that. Wow. I'm such a good shot. This arrowhead is actually pretty dangerous. Don't try it. Remember, subscribe, hit the bell, and this is the outro.